Hey guys, just want to do a quick review or just kind of talk about these two watches real quick. Uh, in case one of you guys out there are looking for a smartwatch or you're looking to replace yours or thinking about going to a smartwatch from a regular watch. So I had a smartwatch a little while ago and then I switched and I went to a um, Casio, just a basic watch. I'd been using that for a little bit. I gave that one to my son and I said, hey, let me switch uh, to one of these smartwatches. So I shopped around. Uh, and uh, I said, let's try this one. I found it for a reasonable price online, and these are reconditioned, refurbished ones, and uh, to be honest with you, the, the quality on them, they look like they're brand new. I mean, you wouldn't really be able to tell the difference uh, of a brand new one and a refurbished one. The battery life's great, uh, and uh, I've been happy with them very much from that standpoint. Now, as far as the functionality of the watches, uh, what I use the most with this is, besides, of course, telling the time, is receiving uh, text messages and responding to text messages on here. And I uh, was a little concerned before. I'm like, how am I going to respond typing on a screen or using a, a prefabricated uh, response? Actually, there's a very cool feature on here where when someone sends you a message, you can just click uh, the microphone and you could speak it. In there and then you could hit send and it dictates very well so I don't have any trouble with it interpreting what I'm saying so for example you're driving someone sends you a message you can just reply right from your phone and use your voice to send out a message and send it it just will send your message make you much more efficient than having to pull out your phone or wait to send someone a message or something like that also the calling option now these are are not the LTE ones these are just the regular Wi-Fi if somebody calls you, you can answer the call, you can talk directly to the phone, uh, and you can initiate a call, you know, by going into your contacts, you know, um, and uh, you can access uh, your contacts and you can dial right from the phone. And th those are probably my most used features on here. It, it does a lot more, of course, like uh, count your steps, it can check your pulse, EKG, and I don't use that that much, you know. Uh, there's a feature on here where if you're sitting inactive for a little while, it'll tell you it's time to get up. I find that kind of useful if I find myself maybe sitting at the computer a little too long. It just gives you a nudge. You can sit, uh, you can hit ignore, or you can just get up and, I don't know, it encourages you to stay active a little more, which is pretty cool. Also, the step tracker, I have to say, I, I it encourages me also to stay more active, which are good things. Uh, another feature that I use is uh, I have a ring doorbell. So if someone shows up at my door, it'll send the alert right to my phone and I'll get a snapshot, like a picture of who's at the door. Uh, I found that very useful. Um, and those are primarily the things that I use the most. Uh, if you want to take a nap or something, you could set up a little timer, 20, sec uh, 20 minutes, 15 minutes, click it and it'll set a timer and it'll vibrate and wake you up. Uh, it has an alarm on there, sleep tracking. I don't use the sleep tracking too much because I take this off at night. Battery life, it lasts me about two days, but I make a habit at the end of the day to just put it in the charger, uh, and I charge it overnight. I'm usually about 70 to 60% before bedtime, so I could probably go two and a half days, but since I'm charging my phone, I might as well charge this. It charges right next to it. Um, but yeah, it's they've really been uh, very useful. Uh, why I like these over, let's say, an Apple Watch, I just think these look nice. I mean, they, they look nicer than the newest Samsung ones, which are a little a little too chunky. This, to me, looks like a regular watch. You know, it still has that look. Apple, I know they have a, a, a popular watch. I just, I'm not a big fan of the style of it. You know, I'm sure the functionality is great, but it just kind of looks like a toy and you really can't dress it up. Uh, these two, I got uh, stainless steel watch bands. Um, I'll show you how these look. I got the stainless steel black and the stainless steel silver, and I pair them up with, uh, you know, these two, and I'll show you right now how they look. All right, so here's what they look like with the stainless steel. Really sharp with the stainless steel. I really like that look. Uh, the black on black looks great, and the silver with the silver. Another cool thing is uh, you can change out those faces. So let's say you want to go for something a little more, you know, laid back. 
Uh, you could just swap these out. Let's compare them so we could see them the same side by side here. So those are both using the same uh, style of watch face. And there's all kinds of watch faces that you could get, you know. Uh, this is also a really nice one if you want to dress it up a little. You know, beautiful watches. They really did good on the design. And uh, I have trouble, to be honest with you, on deciding which one is the best as far as uh, appearance. I mean, functionality, of course, they're both the same. Uh, fit, they fit great. You just adjust those bands. Uh, these stainless steel ones, you know, if you're a hairy guy like me, it's going to, they pinch every once in a while, but I'm used to that. Uh, but I think these look great. Uh, pair it up with these. Show you this one. Real easy to slip on. So there's the silver one. There's the black one. Let's uh, match up the watch faces here. Uh. Can't find that one. Oh, there it is. All right. So there's that one. And there's this one. I don't know. You guys, let me know in the comments which one you like better. Again, I have trouble between the two because I think they both look great. And uh, I don't know. It's really hard picking between the two. And that's why I bought both of them. But anyways, I uh, hope this uh, review helped you out a little bit. If you're kind of debating between the two, maybe you're, you're stuck trying to decide which one's a better watch uh, as far as appearance. Um, I'll leave a link to where I bought the watches uh, and these specific uh, stainless steel bands, which uh, you're really going to like. Uh, the stainless steel band definitely dresses it up a little more. And I use the stainless steel band when I'm walk-in or anything. I know some people like just the silicone, but I'm primarily using the stainless steel. Every once in a while, I'll switch it up and go to like a silicone band, but I always find myself uh, liking this stainless steel band the most. But again, I'll leave links down in the description. You can look for it uh, to these exact ones. But uh, that's really about it. Thanks for watching, guys, and we'll see you in the next one.